guys, welcome back to my channel. I am gonna be doing my first Halloween tutorial of the year today, and I'm so excited. So this year for Halloween, um, I asked you guys what you wanted to see, and I didn't get a lot of specific requests. But I did notice that a lot of people asked for things that were simple, things they could just do at home. They didn't want anything too fancy. So I do know there are a lot of like amazing, like really intense tutorials online. Um, so I think I'm gonna take a little bit more of a simple route with things that you can kind of do kind of really cheap at home on your own. So I think, of course, someone really popular right now is Ariana Grande, who I personally really, really, really love. Um, I think that's gonna be a really easy and super cute Halloween costume this year. So of course we have the signature Ariana Grande half up half down do yes um, and we're gonna be doing a makeup tutorial which I have on my phone but I will insert right here so you guys can see that um, this is one of her most classic looks and then of course I will add on her classic bunny ears at the end but we're gonna be focusing right now on the makeup first Ugh. so as you can see in that makeup look she has on that nice dark vampy lip which is of course very fall-esque um, and then she has that nice matte skin with the nice highlight um, a little bit more of like a matte slightly smoky eye not much and her classic winged liner which I will be showing you how to do really easily and then we'll pop on some really bomb lashes and it's gonna be a super easy really cute tutorial and it might be even a makeup look you want to wear <laughs> just for fun so let's go ahead and start with our skin I'm gonna go ahead and prime depending on your skin type do whatever works for you but I am an oily mess so I'm gonna use my Milani prime shield this stuff is hella magical also, can we take a minute to appreciate I got a new, magical, legitimate ring light because you guys know um, I had been using a ring light from like 1947. <laughs> it was really old and um, it didn't do a good job. So I got the Diva ring light, Supernova. Um, so I want you guys to, I'm trying to step up my tutorial game here. Um, hopefully you guys think the light is good. Also, I got festive. I have a little skeleton man on my wall. <laughs> You can't see him right now, but he's there. $3 at Target, it's fantastic. Okay, <laughs> I am rambling. I just wanted to say hello to you guys. Oh, that bird outside is gonna drive me crazy. I'm gonna shut the window. For our skin today, we're gonna stick with a nice matte look. I'm gonna use the MAC Studio Fix, and my color is NW15. Summer's over. I'm not tan anymore. <laughs> so I'm just gonna paint this all over, and then we're gonna blend it in with a beauty blender. This will always be like a ride or die foundation. It's one of those foundations that like, you always kind of just end up going back to. At least that's how I am. I don't know if anyone else is like that. <laughs> but I noticed that Ariana Grande never really looks like dewy. I think a matte foundation is gonna be your best bet. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids. You guys see me use this every single time. Elizabeth Mott, Thank Me Later Primer. I don't know, I just fell in love with it. And ever since, we have been one. For concealer today, she has a really nice under eye highlight, so I'm gonna use a little bit of a lighter color. It is the NYX HD Concealer. This stuff is incredible and so cheap. Like, I am actually almost out of it. I should probably buy more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal under my eyes. I'm gonna also go right into that inner corner to brighten it up. And bring that up nice and high on that outer part just so you can have that nice highlight that she has. But if you don't like any of these steps, like, it's fine, do what you want. <laughs> and I'm like so crazy because I am a baker when it comes to my makeup. Um, I always get my airspun ready um, as I start to pat it out because I want to set it right after because you guys know I crease in like three seconds. I can't snap that well. It's not a great snap. So I'm just gonna blend that out and then set it with that powder. And we're baking. And we're baking. I wish it was cookies, but it's not. I'm wearing an all black outfit <laughs> and probably getting powder all over it. Anything for a tutorial, am I right? Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a break from our skin while we're letting that bake and I'm gonna go ahead and move into my eyeballs. Today I'm gonna be using the Balms Nude Dude Volume 2 palette, which I really, really love. It has a nice mirror as well. Um, so today, looking at these colors, I'm gonna be using the color Feisty on my lid and Flawless in my crease and that is all I'm going to be using on the eyes. So first we'll just start to work that in the crease. And now there's a car outside. <laughs> my filming conditions are not great. I didn't even do my eyebrows yet. <sighs> do you ever just have those moments where you're like, what am I doing? <laughs> 
let me just finish this and then we'll do our eyebrows. I like I always ask you guys should I even continue to do eyebrows on camera like I feel like you guys have seen it one million times and you're probably over it but someone did comment on the last video and say what if someone new came here and they wanted to know what was popping so um, let's just go ahead and do our brows I will just speed through it um, I'm just gonna be using the L'Oreal brow stylist definer in brunette today uh, I'm not going to go too crazy. Ariana Grande doesn't go too crazy on her eyebrows. You don't have to do like some crazy ombre thing. Um, but she keeps it with a pretty strong arch on the end. Like it goes up a little bit. So that's really all I'm going to do today. I'm just going to kind of make sure they're a little bit more full in the front where I have some sparseness. Uh, and then really define my arch a little bit. Like, clearly my brows are way thicker than Ariana's. Like, you know what, just do your brows how you want to do your brows. And I actually am going to clean up my brows because I went a little bit crazy in certain spots. It just happens. Um, with some concealer and a flat brush just to make sure they're nice and precise. Okay, so now that we have our brows in, let's go ahead and hop back into the eyes as we were. Okay, so I'm watching this back as I'm editing it, and I'm very aware that my eyebrow on your right looks a little bit crazy. Let's not talk about it. Okay, I love you. Bye. So once you have, like, a nice transition color, you just want to make sure it's blended. That's about it. She never does anything too crazy with her eyes, usually just a couple of colors. I think the most major part of um, Ariana Grande's look is, of course, her signature big eyeliner. So with just a shader brush now, let's go ahead and take that slightly like a dusty pinky rose color and we're just going to blend that all over the lid and like blend it up into our crease color. This is really like a nice fall look, honestly. I would totally wear this on just a regular day. So that's the cool thing about this Halloween look too. If you need to like go to work or something first, it's not a big deal. You ain't gonna look crazy. You can just throw your bunny ears on later. Just going all over the lid with this and blending it up and that is literally all. The good thing about doing your eyeshadow while you're still baking is that if you have fallout it will just wipe off so just make sure you're blended and we're gonna leave our eyeshadow at that. So now we'll go ahead and finish our skin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep off that little bit of powder and I'm gonna take a little bit more translucent powder and just set my whole face. Okay, so she does have a really nice contour and a nice set of bronzing going on. So since she is a little bit more tan, I'm going to make sure I bronze up quite a bit. And I'm going to use the uh, Rimmel London bronzer here, which is fantastic. And I'm just going to warm up the perimeter of my face a bit, just to make sure I look a little bit more summery and tan as she does. She always has that really beautiful sun-kissed glow. If you wanted to go like an extra step girl, you could go ahead and tan, uh, like a self-tanner, and uh, get yourself all glowy. Bronzy bronze, make sure you're nice and bronze. And this will create a nice little base for our contour, especially if you're a bit more fair like I am. My pale people, what's up? Okay, so for our contour, I'm gonna go ahead and use the MAC contour kit in um, light because you know I am fair uh, so you're just gonna want to go ahead and give yourself a nice little contour because she does have a really beautiful cheek contour most of the time so we're just going to work it work it work it a nice guideline I like to say is from the top of the ear to the end of the eyebrow um, for your most dense area and then you're gonna want to blend it up just like that that's like my best little advice for that. <laughs> I was talking about this in my last video. I feel like we all have a better side for our contour. <laughs> like one eyebrow always comes out better than the other one. One contour always comes out better than the other one. I don't know. We all just have like a better side. Comment down below. Tell me your better side. Make me feel better about this. <laughs> and one more thing. If you want to really sharpen up your contour, you can um, cut right below it with that translucent powder if that's something you want to do. It's not like her contour is insanely sharp, but um, sometimes I like to do that and let it bake for a minute. So on this look particularly, she has a really neutral, slightly rosy blush, but nothing too crazy. So I'm going to use my Studio Makeup Soft Blend Blush in Wildflower. It's a really pretty soft mauve, but you just want to add a tiny bit of it 
right above your contour. Not much. Just a little. Just a little bit of a soft little glow there. And, oh, I'm dropping everything. Of course, we all know she has a really beautiful highlight on the top of her cheekbone most of the time. So I think for me personally, do whatever works for your skin tone. But the Balms Mary Luminizer is my absolute favorite highlighter at the moment. And it just always looks amazing. Um, so use whatever works for you. And we're just going to highlight the top of our cheekbone. Make sure we are really glowing. That bird outside, y'all. That bird. Oh, my mom is calling me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hello? Hi. Hi. Like, literally just had, like, a 30-minute conversation with my mom. Um, so, let me finish highlighting. I only put on, like, a little bit, I think, the last time I was doing this. <laughs> I don't know. So, let's just do a little more highlight. I think we could, I think we could glow a little bit more. Am I right? A little, oh, too much? <laughs> Never. I think I'm a little crazy today. I'm a little crazy today. I've been having a hard time sleeping again though. I don't know why. I'm like going into a therapy session with you guys. Anyway, anyway. So now we have our skin all done. So we're gonna go ahead and move back into our eyes. So I actually um, have this new L'Oreal Voluminous Liner. It's like the Kitty Feline Liner. I think it's called Feline. Um, they also have a new mascara that I got as well. So this stuff is magical. So if you have a hard time doing like a nice winged liner, this is super duper easy and it's really good. So it's this really long uh, tipped eyeliner here. So this makes it a lot easier to go ahead and do a nice cat eye like Ariana does. You know what I'm actually going to do as well? She doesn't do much on her bottom lash line. I'm just gonna take um, a little bit of that feisty color and I'm just going to dust it under my eye. Just a little bit, not too much, um, just to add a little bit of something under the eye. If the people below me start playing music right now, I might freak out. <laughs> They're home every day. Like, yeah, I, I'm home because I work from home, but like, there's a lot of them home. And, and I'm so curious. I know, I know. I sound crazy. Okay, so we added just a little bit of color underneath. So let's go ahead and do our liner. So by making a guideline like that, it's gonna make your wing a lot easier. And just go ahead and line your lash line first. And the thing about Ariana Grande's wings, she does them super curved and very high up. It's not your typical like fierce winged liner. It's something I've always noticed about her makeup. I think everyone's kind of noticed that. She does a very like curved upward wing. It's not your standard wing. So we're gonna do it like that and just take it from the end and drag it in. And her wings are also super duper thick. So just about like that is a typical Ariana Grande wing and we're gonna also put on falsies later. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Just like so, it will look a lot better once we have our lashes on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a coat of the voluminous feline mascara and I'm gonna do it to my bottom lashes as well. This is definitely a good bottom lash mascara because it's not too big of a brush and the bristles are not too big. And for my lashes today I'm gonna be using a pair of Ardell Wispies. She doesn't ever do anything too crazy with lashes but a nice pair of Wispies will do you just fine. So let me go ahead and throw these on. Okay guys, so I just went ahead and threw on those lashes, so it kind of helps to blend out that crazy wing a little bit. Mine is even a little bit more subdued than Ariana's, like I feel like her wings are just out of this world. If you want to go bigger and badder, um, <laughs> you totally can. It's all you, baby girl. I actually just bought this ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the color LAX. I think this is going to be really great for the look that we're going for, so I'm going to put some on now. <laughs> Oh, yes, honey boo boo. Oh, my God. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Just add a little more mascara, blend those lashes. Mm, yes, boom. That lip is heaven sent. That's my first time ever using ColourPop. I just ordered like a ton of their stuff. Um, so I will be doing a haul video on that. Let me just clean up my lip. I was feeling like daring and I was like, I'm not gonna use eyeliner. I don't need eyeliner, lip liner. This could almost like pass as like a minor 
goth look maybe i'm into it though okay so of course we have to go ahead and add our majestic bunny ears these are exactly like the ones in the photo i was so excited when they were at target these were literally six dollars i still have the tag on such an easy costume and i feel like all i need to do is just kind of push this to the side a bit can this be moved yes so just go ahead and move this to the side like in her photo a little bit to the side like that oh there's a sticker on here okay and just like in the photo, we're going to kind of bend the ears to the side and just kind of position them however you want. Uh, I feel like this would just be such an easy costume um, along with like just a little black dress. That's all you have to do. And then let's copy her pose. Let me pull up her pose. Let's see. So she looks like this. So I need to like do my arm like this and my hand like this. Go to Target, pick up these bunny ears. They are still there. I saw them there this morning. So of course I was there this morning. <laughs> I'm crazy. Um, do this makeup, uh, get a little black dress, throw your hair half up, half down, and you're Ariana Grande for Halloween. So easy, so cheap. It's probably all makeup you already have at home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and um, you found it helpful and you could even wear this makeup just for fun, for kind of a darker, vampy look for Halloween. But that's gonna do it for my first Halloween tutorial for the season. I have some other things coming up, so I hope you're excited about it. If you have any Halloween requests, feel free to comment them here. There's still a few weeks left, so um, I will definitely be able to go ahead and get those done for you guys. If you have any specific requests, everyone was kind of just like, do what you want, make it easy, <laughs> like that kind of situation. So um, there we go. I love you guys so much. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe and join our fearless family, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!